there is someone in our VFFs today who is all about the good and taking care of people. Our VFF, Ricky Smith, was- Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hi, Ricky! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Ricky! Yo, wait, can we, can we be friends? Oh. I'm usually the one asking that. Can we stay in touch? Can we be friends? Yes, Ricky, yes. Okay, because I like to dance. I know you're a dancer. I like to dance. That's like my thing. I'm a, I'm a dance guy, so energy. Oh, Ricky, I love everything about you. And now this new information about friendship and dancing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I was so excited to talk to you today because your organization called Random Acts of Kindness Everywhere. And I do yep. love the everywhere um, because it feels blanketed and ubiquitous, like it's possible all around rather Ambiguous. than this. Ubiquitous? Yes, ubiquitous everywhere. Okay. I know. I mean, it's like I didn't go to school, so I studied the dictionary because it's available and free. Um, and, uh, but you, that's what you're doing is sometimes, you know, things feel very targeted. And where we see good, we wonder about the rest of the world and how that's going to get taken care of. So I do think everywhere is a powerful word to attach to the random acts of kindness. And it feels very hopeful and very actionable. And I just want to know, what was your inspiration behind starting your movement? Yeah, so it's funny that you started off with the whole friendship thing. Um, I was down and out. I uh, moved to L.A. I was going through a pretty rough divorce, and no one knew. I was struggling. Um, emotionally, you know, mentally, uh, financially. And I had 20 bucks left in my name. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go back to Cleveland, Ohio, where I'm from, and just try to figure things out. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take this 20 bucks. I'm going to buy pizza for our homeless people. Um, I went and bought four pizzas. And with their permission, we, we sat down. And, you know, I didn't talk about their homelessness. I didn't talk about their struggles. They didn't talk about my struggles. And we just simply just bonded, just eating pizza. I, I joked that you can't eat pizza mad. Like, who eats pizza upset? And um, I posted it with their permission, having a pizza party with my friends, and it kind of went viral. People started doing it in other cities um, that same day. And um, I was like, you know what? This energy and this good feeling, I got to keep it going. It's been eight years of me just being the guy that just tries to bring a little uh, happiness to the world. And it's working. Like, your tentacles are reaching out and enveloping people. I mean, that is the response. Like, when you throw these pizza parties, it inspires other people to do it. Have you been surprised by that, or? Yeah, I, I haven't, to be honest with you. It's just the energy. To me, it's like the feeling you get, and you said it best during these times, literally, like, we're all in this together, and we're all going through something. It, 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 it rings more now true than ever, because we're literally all going through something. So who doesn't want to be surprised with a, with a free pizza, right? Or just a pizza or a community, because we're all in this together. So. I tell people all the time that, you know, instead of taking 20 selfies, take 19. But if you show yourself doing good, you might think it's bragging, but it motivates and inspires other people. I'm literally talking to my new best friend by way of social media. So it's like that energy, that spirit, because people don't realize, too, it's not just the person receiving it. You also feel good doing it. It just makes you feel like you're connected. People think of, you know, charity as being this thing. You have to be rich. You have to be famous. Nah, like. You can literally just do what you want to do in your corner, your area, whatever, to try to make the world a better place. I also think people are sometimes a little overwhelmed by all that there is to do in the world. Mm -hmm. And so when they see something that is doable or the idea and light bulb or the place to go to do something doable, you've created that. And there's a, you know, an, a familiar non-overwhelming approach to what you're doing, and yet it is huge and powerful. And we just love what you are doing, and we wanted to help you spread um, that love in your community and kindness. So we actually reached out to our friends of Angelo's of Lakewood, and they're going to give you free pizza for an entire year to help with your homeless pizza party. Whoa! And now that we are new best friends, I'm going to put this on my website at the show, at the DrewBarrymoreShow.com. I'm going to put it on my Instagram, and we're going to do everything we can to help facilitate, bring wow. awareness, and shine a light on what you are already doing. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you so no, much. No, thank you. Honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, my supporters, my followers are all huge fans. 
So shout out to them nationwide. They literally love you more than you know. They, they, you, uh, you are a part of Rick. Right next to Ghana Zero. So welcome to the crew. Thank you. I'm honored to be a part of it, and I can't wait to promote it and support. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you so much.